There is uh, the development of a new set of technologies on wireless sensors for being able to predict different kinds of disasters. And this is part of a overall strategy to invest in a cyber infrastructure for physical infrastructures such as waterways, dams, and other kinds of structures. We believe that this kind of cyber physical infrastructure would provide the kinds of early warning systems that would be useful for being able to predict when waterways are likely to be flooded or when there are other kinds of disaster prediction. I have to say the deployment of this cyber physical infrastructure involves a substantial investment in new technologies as well as security and privacy considerations for keeping these technologies from being subjected to hacking or other kinds of uh, other kinds of abuse. But modulo these, I think that this technology has now come to a place where it's r ready to be deployed widely. Yeah, on the, on, the, on, the, on the UN SAB, the Secretary General has asked us to think about the role of big data in sustainable development. Big data refers to the fact that there are large amounts of data being generated by a very large number of sources. In fact, it is estimated that more data has been put on the Internet in this year than in the previous lifetime before this time, in the last 150 years. So given that this huge amount of new data is now available, it's important to be able to analyze it, to be able to separate noise, to be able to separate outliers from the true data, to verify the provenance of the data, and to come up with m measures and metrics of how sustainable development is performing before it is too late. In some sense, this really enables you online monitoring of the performance of sustainable development interventions rather than waiting for pilots to run, and it enables one to be able to make modifications in systems. So we believe the UN SAB has been working, of course, with UNESCO to be able to develop best practices which take into account the provenance, security, privacy, the utilization of the data and how you can reward people for participating in this collection of data so as to be able to have these techniques be available for meeting as many of the sustainable development goals as we can.